<clears throat> Hi and welcome. Um, I'm in a connector trail along between Flume Canyon and Devil's Canyon uh, near Fruta, Colorado. Um, it's a pretty cool area. Um, I'm just out here enjoying my time with someone, namely him. That's Tob Tobiah. And I'm out here today thinking about one particular question that I want you to ask. And that is, if I had one month to live, how would I live it? Because I want you to realize the choices that you're making. Um, I mean, life goes a lot quicker than you think. Life is uh, but a breath. <laughs> I mean, I've gone from kid to teen to 20s to 30s to now I'm in my 40s. And it's going fast, very, very fast. Um, so we do not have an idea as to how long we're going to be here. Um, we're not given tomorrow. We could die in our sleep tonight. Um, but it's just a reality. We can't expect to live to 70 and 80. We've got to make use of what we have. And I get the feeling that we are on the cusp of something big. Um, so that's also why I'm coming. Um, I think you need to start thinking like there's not a whole lot of time left. Um, are there things you need to cut out? Do I, do you need to cut out sports? Are there secret sins that you need to cut out? Do you need to spend more time with your uh, family and relatives and friends? Well, especially family, um, and not as much time at work. I mean, you may be one of those people that are spending 14, 20 hours every, every day at work, and uh, maybe you're neglecting all the other things in your life, including God. Um, your number one priority, if you want to make it to heaven, should be God. He is, should be your top priority. Nothing should become, go over Him. He is a jealous God and He does not like things to take place of Him. He loves you more than you could ever want and He blesses those that are His and He takes care of those who are His. He shows you which way to go and what to do and um, he'll give you exactly what you need. Um, I've been in places and at times where I didn't know where things would come from. and I've never once starved. I've never once not had enough. And God has always been there. Um, he makes, makes it known to me because I start getting chills up my spine. Um, like if a song comes on or I feel someone's presence... Um, I get chills, um, and that's how I know that someone's there. Um, sometimes I'll get pressure on my back or on my side or somewhere, and it, I don't know, it feels like someone's presence is there, and it's nice to know that someone's there. Um, life can be lonely at times, and it can be a long, hard road, and it could be, it's pretty quiet, and I'll just be quiet for just a second and let you hear But all you can hear is the sun and a dog painting. But it's in these places that you can reconnect with God. And this is what God did. I mean, God and Abraham and Moses and Joshua and Nehemiah and all of them, they, they didn't go to the city and to go to the bar and talk to the local bar about how they should lead, lead life. No, they, they went to the wilderness. They got away. They're like, no, 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 no. It's like, I need to get alone. I mean, even Jesus, our Yeshua, um, for those that are want to say the other name, um, even he wanted to get alone with his father all the time. I mean, he was constantly around people and everyone else, and there are times when he just got away and just wanted to um, be with the one that created him. And I think that's how we should be treating him. We should be not only getting in the Bible and but we, the Bible should 
uh, provoke us to ask questions. It's like, okay, why was I made? Um, what should I do in this situation? What should I do in that situation? Um, what is the Earth's real age? Um, will, I mean, how close are we are to the end? Um, are there things that I need to get out of my life? Um, and I just want you to take that time and make sure that you're making God a priority. I mean, it, um, if you need to, you can take the Bible. I know it sounds gross, but you can take it in a restroom. You can, I mean, it's on your phone. I mean, it's not that far from me. And if you're stopped for five or ten minutes waiting on someone, just pull it up and just get into the Word. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> but you can also talk to God throughout the day. And I find that, like, if you're really close to God, like I am now, I mean, you, you do kind of, the Holy Spirit kind of talks and kind of uh, provokes you, and it's uh, pretty cool. But yeah, just make sure that you're leading the right life, and um, I mean, are there things that you need to get ready for? I mean, it's like, okay, well, if there's things that you're feeling are imminent, then maybe there's things that you need to get right. Maybe there's people in your life that you need to get right with. Maybe there's someone in your past that's maybe not gotten on your good side and you're angry with them. Um, it's time to for forgive and forget and move on. Um, we should not be angry with anyone, uh, no matter what they have done. I know that's way, way, way easier said than done in a lot of circumstances. Um, but it gets a lot of weight off of us. Um, we're not meant to carry bitterness and grieves. Um, we're supposed to get along with everyone and uh, be there for people. And So yeah, so take that opportunity, write down things that, uh, maybe, maybe it's a bucket list, maybe it's things that you want to accomplish. Um, but just approach life differently. Um, don't just approach work as a means to get the next boat or next ATV or next luxury item. It's like you don't need all these things. You can rent them when you want want them. And we should be spending time with our relatives. We should go hiking or biking or whatever and get out and have fun with our kids and have fun with our relatives. And uh, maybe there's someone uh, near you that may be struggling that you can go talk to and um, do things with. Um, so just get out there and uh, enjoy yourself. Uh, take Take time um, enjoy life a little bit more. Don't get so bogged down in the rush and anxiety of life. I would strongly recommend getting rid of the TV. The TV is nothing but... There's nothing good on TV. Um, and it's just a bad influence. So, But take care and God bless. And uh, hopefully we'll meet down the road. Um, take care. Bye.